tiny house. Prepper. Live simple, live free. Well, hello again. This is Elizabeth, the tiny house prepper, and welcome to part two on tiny house systems. And I'll be talking um, in the second half about a lot of different things that are involved really in maintaining uh, what I need to around here. Now because um, we have to make very good use <laughs> of every space that we have, another thing that's very important is that you keep the spaces available. Um, I have had a tendency to be cluttery um, earlier in my life, very definitely, ask my kids and my husband. I can't do that anymore. Um, this desk right here, which I just love this old desk, I'm so glad we can hang on to it. It's really a pretty antique looking desk. But this has so many multiple uses. When I sit here and like I'll work on paying the bills or something like that, um, when I'm done, everything has to be put away. Um, right now, I am helping with um, doing some um, homeschool tutoring and um, helping with that. And I have a cupboard that has all the school stuff in it. And we use this space. I set up actually set up one of our, our uh, folding uh, tables that we use. And I put a chair here from the kitchen and I sit here and we have the desk and the chair and the computer and it works wonderfully. And at the end of the day, every single bit of it has to be put away um, because then there'll be other uses. Bill will need to sit here with the computer or we'll need to use the copy copier. So it's really important. I've even, I even sew on this. <laughs> and so, in fact, I had to find a spot for my sewing machine because I discovered that it's not good to keep it out in the cold. So I've had to find a little nook inside the house to put my sewing machine, but I actually spread things out and sew here. In the summer, I can go out into the sunroom with a table and I'll have more room. But I, um, I did a project sewing here, but this has to be kept clean. Um, and so that you always have whatever space you need is available. You can't let it stay cluttered. And so um, that's just an important um, habit that you really have to develop. Um, papers. Oh my goodness, they're like the biggest bane of my existence. Papers coming in in mail. Um, and every single thing that ever gets picked up um, has to be either filed away, put somewhere because i got to pay the bill or whatever, or thrown away. Um, I can't let things accumulate. There's nowhere for them to accumulate. I think we would drown in papers faster than anything else I can think of. Um, and so um, setting up a, a filing kind of a system is something I'm still kind of working on in here to make sure that I, I've got a place to put everything, especially because I'm also taking care of um, Bill's dad's papers and stuff for him. And so um, you, you just have to make that a habit. Everything that comes in is going to either be filed away, put away or thrown away. Um, I keep a few catalogs um, of places. Um, I love Vermont Country Store uh, just to keep a few catalogs. But I'll look through them and if there's anything I really think I need I'll hang on to it just long enough to order. But just as soon as I know I don't have anything I have to do in there anymore it gets recycled. Stuff cannot pile up and accumulate. And so that's another habit that just absolutely has to be um, developed. While I'm talking about that we have um, a spreadsheet. Now, Bill's a genius of setting all this up. I would not have known how to do it, but we have a spreadsheet set up. And because we are staying out of debt, um, and because we're not going to get back in debt again, we do not use credit for anything. Um, it's very, very important that money become budgeted. So every single week, Bill gets paid every week, and then I get so I get my disability like once a month. Um, we have categories where money is set aside so that when it come time, comes time to pay a tax bill, comes time to pay property owner association dues, or our sewer bill, um, or something like that, the money has been slowly accumulated so I know it's going to be okay. Um, over the summer and the nicer months, we accumulate money to help if it gets to be a little bit harder to take care of utilities in the winter. And if you do it a little bit at a time, setting money aside, 
um, it works. I can know that every time a bill comes in that I will be able to pay it. I can know that when I want to tithe, the money is there. I can know that when I want to give, we have a couple kids that we sponsor in India. I love that. Making sure the money is set aside so that that's always covered. And then we can know about how much we need to budget um, to make sure we can get the food we need and order the things we need. So even though we don't have any house payment, we don't have a car payment, we don't have any credit card payments, life is still full of expenses. You still have to pay for insurance. You still have to pay taxes. Um, lots of things you have to try to cover. Um, I want to make sure that part of, of maintaining the simplicity of my tiny house life and of being debt free is to make sure that I am going to have the money I need when I need it because I've planned ahead and I'm not relying on using credit if I get in a jam. Um, we even set money aside every single week so that at some point when we need to replace our vehicle or we need to do vehicle repairs, there's going to be money saved for that because the reality is someday you're going to need to do something with your vehicle. Um, we are paying for our funeral expenses ahead. Um, and not to be morbid, but some you know stuff like that is reality. And I want to make sure that we are just simply taking care of it all as we go along. And it sure makes me, I mean, so much happier to know that when it comes time to pay a bill, I know I've got the money to do it. Yay! Okay, I want to talk just a little bit about what I've discovered to be good systems for maintenance. Um, one is, we have a cat. We have shown him off quite a bit. I love him to pieces. He's a big old sweetie. Um, he doesn't go outside. We have coyotes out there, so I'm not going to let him go outside. So, you have a cat and you have a very small space. I do not, I cannot stand the stink of a cat box. So, if Bill can pan down, for one thing, we have a covered one, and yes, the only place I can put it is in my kitchen, but I have found um, some, that, that super clumping, clumping cat litter, I don't like it perfumed, I don't like the smell of it perfumed, but it's just unscented, super clump, clumping cat litter. And the main thing is that I clean it out very, very frequently. It doesn't take long when you do it frequently. And the way that that's made, it's just cl it clumps so nicely that I don't even have to like um, replace all of the litter. You actually get everything out. I have a heavy-duty um, scooper. It's a very heavy, strong one. And I have a system where I can you know, keep that clean. But the point is to do it frequently. So a lot of times in my morning, when I get up before I need to start working with the teaching that I'm doing, um, I'll grab a shower. Um, Bill and I can do back-to-back -back showers with this tiny little hot water heater. It does very well. But generally, Bill will grab his shower at night after work, and I get mine first thing in the morning. When I'm all done with that, I want to do just a quick wipe in the bathroom. I'm going to have somebody here. I want it to be tidy. And then I'll come in, I can scoop out the cat box, and then I can go ahead and just take the trash from the bathroom, the cat box, underneath the desk, and anything I need to clear out of the kitchen can go right out in a small, you know, smaller trash bag, right out to the, the trash um, can, well, it's a plastic bin, that we have outside with a nice tight cover. Um, you don't want trash sitting around. As soon as it gets it all full, I just get it out of here. That gets done. The dishwasher has to be unloaded. Often it runs all night. You know, I mean, not all night. Often we run it at night, but it needs to be unloaded. That way all day, if I use dishes, they can go right into the dishwasher. Um, and I will make sure that my, yeah, there's our dishwasher. And so I'll make sure that's all unloaded. Um, and um, I'll show you our vacuum cleaner. Okay, I love this thing. All righty, here we go. We had to really look because I do have arthritis and it is not easy for me to haul a big heavy thing around and I didn't have room for it. So we picked this one up. It's a little, I love how it pivots. This thing works so well and I can just run it everywhere and vacuum. In fact, we've got some stuff from the fire here that we need to get vacuumed up even right now. Um, if you look right here, this part can just, does that work? on just pop it right off. <laughs> Pull it straight out. Oh, there we there go. You know. I wasn't doing that right. Anyway, it's very easy to unhook this, and then um, you can um, use it for just around kind of things. It's just very, very convenient and handy. Anyway, this thing is light. It's easy for me to get around, um, and it's so easy to clean. 
because you just simply bring it out over the trash can. This thing flips open right here. It empties out and I'm all done and good to go. So having a workable vacuum cleaner is really, really helpful. Um, it's a small area with little small spaces that you have to get into and we have really, really loved this thing. So I highly recommend a real small little vacuum cleaner, but it has to be a real one. It can't be just a toy because I want it to do a good job. So in fact, I just gave Bill a haircut and uh, we vacuumed really nicely, um, you know, after I did his haircut. So it can vacuum. Um, and if I do this stuff on a really regular basis, it doesn't take that long. Later on, I can do more heavy scrubbing, but I can just keep things nice on a regular basis. It doesn't take long to do it because it's not a very big area. But if I don't clean out the cat box, I'm not going to be able to handle the smell. I'm in a very small space here, hug. Um, I, I want the trashes, you know, cleaned out. The, if my dishwasher is not unloaded, then it's going to be a pain in the neck because we just run out of room. We cannot go shopping if the kitchen's not clean. Um, and the kitchen can be a headache if you don't unload the dishwasher. So when I talk about the KISS method, keep it simple, sweetie, it's like I've learned with all the years of teaching piano. What is the simplest skill that we can put in place that's going to help you become successful at that task? And with the kitchen, it's keeping the dishwasher clean. With groceries, it's making the list and the menu ahead of time. With so many of the jobs around here, it's just being diligent to do it really frequently. Um, it's having a system in place to get rid of papers, um, you know, to have some place for them to go. Um, it's making sure that we're ready before we go shopping so that we don't try to come home and put away groceries when we have nowhere to set anything. And so all of those are different things that save your sanity um, and that make it workable so that this really stays pleasant for me. Um, and I like being here. Um, and so um, those are just some of the things that, that I can do. A real good scrubbing around this place doesn't take that long. Um, but those are just like everyday things that I want to try to maintain um, at all times. So for now, I've tried to talk about just some of the things that I've really had to learn um, so that it works um, being here. Um, I just thought of something. I, um, I have a purse that my sister gave me that is... Um, it's actually a coat. She got it like at a garage sale, and it's wonderful. Um, here. But I can't stand hunting around in things, in a purse to try to find things. And so I have two of these in there, and it's all organized in the small bags. It works really, really well. But one of the points I want to make is that I have to make sure that I have something that I really like, because I don't have room to have a whole bunch of purses and change my mind all the time. So that's just another little thing I just thought of. So we discovered that we had to make a really dramatic change in our life. And like I said, we're not minimalists. Um, I wish I could still have big family dinners. We have to come up with other ways to have, find venues to be able to get groups of family together. I, I can still crowd people in here and enjoy each other, but um, it's a whole different life for us. And um, so I think that um, as I've learned that if you take care of the problems early on, um, see if there's anything else I wanted to say. Um, I, I think one of the things that we're really trying to share with you guys is realities. Um, I, I've just seen so many things where I'm not really sure how people are making it work. But I want you to know that this is something we're really doing. And um, I've gone from a big house full of people and full of clutter and full of music and and full of clothes that I couldn't wear anymore and, and all this stuff that so many times is part of our life. And through a long process, we've had to whittle it down. Um, and I've discovered that, yes, it is a freedom in living simple. But you also have to take charge of your life. And if something comes in, something will probably have to go out. And you can't have things around that you haven't chosen. And you can't have things just stuffed somewhere because there's nowhere to stuff them. And so you, in many ways, um, have to just simply say, I am now in charge of my life and I'm going to make this work, and I'll figure out a way to make it happen. Um, and for us, it has really, really been worth it. And this really dreadful place, when we first bought this, has turned into a home that I really love, and that I'm very peaceful here, and I love living here with my husband and my cat. So thank you for kind of joining with me today as I've tried to share some of this. Um, we have a, you know some systems involved in keeping the fire working. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't really touched on everything, but just some of the basic things um, that have um, 
made things easier. I've learned don't keep a lot of stuff in your head. I've got a phone I can put things on. I can, can write a list down. Um, keep yourself organized and it's really worth it. So, love you guys. If you've liked this, please um, like and subscribe and live simple and live free. God bless you guys and have a wonderful Easter. Now, before I go on to talk about some of the real specific systems also, um, you know, that I have tried to really put in place, um, I can't remember what I was going to say. So. Holy cow. <laughs> there is a real good point right there. Okay, yes, I remembered it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Still rolling. Oh, oh goodness, okay. Um, and that is that... No. Uh, go ahead. Still rolling, as in start over, take two. Okay. Just a second, give me a... All right. When we first were going to be moving...